Hey, hello, and welcome to Michael's Minty Music for today. Today we review Sting's 2021 album, The Bridge. This was his most recent album, and it's all right. This is the track listing, and these are the tracks I added to my playlist, four out of 10, so almost half, technically. This album is okay. A lot of the songs aren't super interesting, but none of them are particularly bad. And the good songs here are actually pretty good. The album starts off really strong with Rushing Water and If It's Love and ends pretty well with uh, Captain Bateman and the title track, The Bridge. In Between is not great, but the album actually manages to flow pretty well. Even though all the songs are pretty slow, it doesn't drag quite as badly as it could. It does still drag a bit, particularly on songs like Harmony Road, but... Um, they're still upbeat enough to kind of push through to the end of the album. Plus, the style is consistent. Uh, it's not super boring. The songs remain a little bit interesting, even though they do sound pretty similar to each other. The overall sound of the album is a bit more clean pop than some of his other work, which I think goes down a bit better. Um, a lot of these songs are a lot more palatable than some of his other work. It does probably make this album less interesting than some of his more wacky albums, but it does make it sort of more consistent. So a surprisingly decent album, since most of the songs really aren't that good, but it comes together pretty well, even though most of the songs are not great. There were two singles released before the album, If It's Love and Rushing Water, the two opening tracks, which are definitely the best songs on the album by far. Uh, and thus, it's no surprise here that my favorite track is the opening one, Rushing Water. It's easily the most interesting pop rock track here, and it's a lot more upbeat than pretty much every other song, so it uh, takes it pretty easily, actually. I rank this album 7th out of Sting's 12 albums, so the top of the bottom half, 6 above, 5 below, generally... Most of Sting's albums are better than this one, but it does manage to beat out some of the more boring releases. It's similar in level of quality to Brand New Day and Sacred Love, the two closest to it. It's slightly more interesting than Sacred Love. Uh, it doesn't have quite as many, quite enough good tracks to beat out Brand New Day, though. I definitely think the album comes together better than his first two releases, and is better than his Christmas album and Songs from the Labyrinth, but I think everything above the last ship just kind of has more good songs and comes together equivalent or better than the bridge unsurprisingly this album doesn't take my top spot from 2021 that stays with imagine dragons mercury act one uh, which i definitely like better than the bridge and i think is generally a more interesting album than stings although I do know there are people who would disagree with me. I generally like Imagine Dragons more than Sting. So, Thank you for watching. Next up is AJR's 2021 album, OK Orchestra. Their, the album I heard right before, their 2019 album, was quite great. So I'm interested to see how they follow it up. So stay tuned for that. And as always, stay minty.